Just after the Oka crisis, Highway 30 was built surrounding Gahnawaga, from Gahnawaga towards St. Catherine. And at that time, our community had nothing to do or nothing to say about it. However, years later, we'll fast forward to the time when the link was built between Highway 30 and Highway 15. That went across lands that were deemed seigneury lands, and Gahnawaga and Quebec actually spoke about this, and Quebec decided and agreed that what we call good faith lands would be given back to Gahnawaga in compensation. Those lands are on the Gahnawaga side of Highway 30 and it amounted to over 700 acres. Now let's fast forward a few years when the surrounding mayors have actually instituted a lawsuit which has created a big problem for Gahnawaga. We have not been able to get the actual land back as reserve status and that has caused a big problem and that's the reason why a press conference was held today in Gahnawaga on Highway 30. Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. In, uh, as part of an effort in the process of reclaiming our ancient traditional terri Mohawk ter Gahnawaga Mohawk territory, uh, we are demonstrating this morning our commitment uh, in that effort um, in what's commonly referred to as the scenery of Sault Ste. Louis, but for us it's Gahnawaga Mohawk territory. And in doing so, it is in direct opposition, perhaps in conflict, to the surrounding areas, and more particularly the, uh, the city of Shattagee and its efforts to prevent us from uh, uh, reclaiming and occupying and to use the territory uh, to, our, uh, to our benefit. Uh, as most of you know, as we have talked about over the course of uh, several weeks now, that part of what we are uh, establishing and have uh, been demonstrating to uh, the public here in Ganawagan as well in the surrounding areas is that uh, we are prepared to go as far as we need to go uh, to make sure that we protect our land, we protect our future and that we begin a process of uh, developing our territory for the benefit of Ganawagan Rono. And uh, that goes without saying that there's a hand that is extended to the surrounding areas to also participate. This was prior to a, an attempt uh, by, uh, by the city of Shattagee and other, and other municipalities in the MRC to prevent that from happening by taking a lawsuit against the Quebec government and basically saying that, you know, uh, they should have been consulted, they should have been a part of, and they had a right to the land, and that this gave us fair advantage. Well, I guess it's, uh, it's uh, on, our, on our part, it's, it's uh, our responsibility to remind everyone that for at least 400 years now, there's been an ongoing battle over this territory, and that unfair advantage has always been in, uh, in somebody else's hands, and we've been the ones who have been made to suffer the consequences of that. So today is the beginning of maybe some minor work in the eyes of others, but it is a tremendous historical period for us to begin installation of uh, infrastructure uh, for the future development and to announce that we are open business to anyone who wishes to uh, partake in the future development of this territory. Uh, prior to this, we had uh, we had solicited and were, uh, were fortunate enough to have people at the table who were prepared to do business with us. But uh, due to the time constraints and uh, all of the different things that have been happening in terms of the lawsuit, in terms of the resistance of uh, the surrounding areas to, uh, to uh, assist and participate, and uh, not necessarily accommodate, to, but, but to recognize Ganawagi's right its Aboriginal right to this territory and the development of it, uh, those people walked away from the table. Those, uh, one was a major corporation, the other one was, uh, as we know, uh, Petro Canada. And that, uh, in estimation, lost on or about 450 jobs, uh, which Shattagee and the surrounding municipalities would have greatly benefited from. This wasn't just simply a Gatanawaga territorial project. It would have been the contribution, if you will, to the surrounding area and um, all in the name of unfair advantage so it's kind of a a, uh, a clash in in terms and ideology that on the one hand they're saying we have unfair advantage 
But on the other hand, we can bring much prosperity to this region. Uh, the region being the MRC, the what's referred to as the scenery, so, so St. Louis, and all the communities that are involved in that. So we had great plans, great uh, arrangements that we were prepared to make for the future development, which included partners, partners from the area, the region here. So in a sense, uh, they kind of shot themselves in the foot. And um, now it's our way of uh, coming out swinging and being uh, able to create what we need to create for Ganawaga Rono only at this point in time. It's also in, um, in, in our estimation a way of uh, getting the Quebec government and also the, uh, the, uh, the federal government to the table to discuss this matter and push forward with the original idea of, of, uh, of uh, officializing the return of this territory um, as we have been struggling for 400 years. And, and mind you, it's only the beginning of much broader um, issues that, and land that has to be looked at. It's, uh, it's, it's, it is ironic on the one hand that um, we have always claimed rightful ownership to this territory and that there's a need uh, to, uh, to reconcile and get an understanding about that and uh, to work in conjunction. It's ironic now we have our neighbors around us who are saying the same thing claiming that it's their territory and that we'll have an unfair advantage over them, which is totally false. And um, the, uh, coupled with the, the on the ground action is the, is the action that has to be taken in terms of boycott. Today we officially announced that we are boycotting business in Chattagy and to extent in the surrounding area. Now we've heard some dissent from community members, which is to be expected. Uh, but on the other hand, in a public meeting that we had on Tuesday evening, there was quite a resounding support for what, for what, uh, what, what was what was needed to be done from a business point of view, and in relation to being in touch with all the different chambers of commerce in the region over here, to advise them and to explain to them why. If they don't understand it by now, then you know perhaps they never will. But on the other hand. Um, Spending $40 million in this region really uh, points out the kind of e economic impact that Ganawagi can have, has had, will have, and could have in the future depending on the outcome. The outcome basically is to, uh, is to, is to uh, put enough pressure on the, on the community, the business side, the public in general in, in, uh, in the communities, particularly in Shattagy, to get them to put pressure on their leadership to say, you know, call this off. We need to sit down with, with the community of Ganawage and have a good solid relationship rather than lawsuits and running off at the mouth in terms of, uh, you know, it's, it's their well-being versus ours. So um, there's other aspects to this as we go along that will become known and, and public. But for now, that's the, uh, the opening of statements in terms of this historic day for us, and it is a historic day. Yeah, well, thank you.